So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Ready once again, Lou Gehrig. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And that's taken for strike one. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Gehrig, the former Yankee, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. Lifted in the air to center. Cobb is right there, one down. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. Ready with the first pitch here it comes and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter number one. So bases are empty here with two gone. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. First delivery to him on the way. Liner towards second. And that'll get down for a two out single. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1 2 3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. In the dirt here. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. And things have really unraveled on him in a hurry. He gives up a two out single, then he throws a wild pitch to put him into scoring position. He basically just threw a double and he didn't even earn it. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Three and oh now. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit and a 3 0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. From the belt, the pitch. That one's in there. Three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. He's got it. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. One left for Atlanta. They trail it here nine to four. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He was a ground out victim last time up. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. The 1 0. 
misses for the second ball. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Now the pitch. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. It looked like this at that had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Takes this the other way to right. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. Daniel Murphy steps in now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one, no Runner at second here with one man out. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 and now. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Now the 2-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Count is two and one. And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around and it's even now at two and two. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Ozuna is under it. Two down. Now Digging in and looking Kepler. for more. Omar Narvaez. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Owen won the count. Wheeler pauses and delivers. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to Gehrig, takes care of him, and that will end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Five innings complete. Boston's out in front, 9-4. to four. Adrian Hauser three. takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. Number 37, Adrian Hauser. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. And there's the first strike, two and one. And
And now a pitch on the way. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now batting, right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Ready now, Andrew McCutcheon. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First delivery to him on the way. Whoa, that kicked out. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hit to third. Chapman has it cleanly. To second for one. Back to Murphy, and they get them both. Up next for Atlanta. The catcher will Smith. Striding into the box, Will Smith. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inside ball. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Two out, nobody on. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's off the green monster. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Into the box now. Fernando Tatis Jr. Yes, he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The 1 0. 2 0. No reason to give in to him here with a base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. Two well count the pitch is looked at for the first strike two out here and a runner at second and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Brave strand one. They trail it here nine to four. Ty Cobb will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Ball one. He'll start him here with a changeup but it's taken for ball one. Right on it there, but this is foul over toward the first base dugout. 
the 1-1 one -one is taken for strike two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Now batter. Number 28. So here's Jeff McNeil. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Fouled away. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And here's Christian Yelich now. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Wheeler sets his sights. Here it is on 1 0. Line drive base hit. And this will bang up against the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now last pitch was a fastball tries to double up with the yep, same sir. piece of cheese and it gets turned Whoa. around nice piece of hit. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz as he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. One and one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Red Sox leave one. They're on top, however, nine to four. Digging in once again, Freddie Freeman, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Two balls and no strikes now to the Atlanta D.H. 
pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. 3-0 and oh now. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't hold back. Three and one. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Now here it comes. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Now batter, number four. Stepping in for the Braves, Lou Gehrig. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Hey, if you know an umpire has a tight zone, as a hitter, you tighten your zone as well. No reason to go after the borderline pitches unless you really have to. Now the 1 0. Inside, ball two. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. 2 0 -well count, the pitch. Ball. Juan Soto waits on deck. He's set and a 3 0 offering. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. It was obvious when the count ran to 2 0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Giovanni Gallegos comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Giovanni Gallegos. Juan Soto will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. From the belt kicks and deals. That's a ball. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right handers up and throwing. Here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Stepping in, Carlos Correa looking to cut into that big deficit they've got in front of them. From the stretch. 
pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Outside for a ball, one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he fouls this one off. The one two it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And this okay. misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Marcelo Zuna, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Now in the box, Marcelo Zuna. His guys trail by four, but the bases are juiced, so a home run ties it. First pitch coming, here it is. And it's the outside corner, it's strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball, one and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Here now the two two doesn't get the zone count full now. Miguel Sano who represents the possible go ahead run here waits in the on deck circle. On the ground is short. This could be two. McNeil's got it for one. And he's out on the tag. A one run is in to score on the play. Yeah, you know, that's a big wasted opportunity. Even though a run does score on the play, they're still down. And trading two outs at this point in the game is really costly. Not a good turn of events for them. Max Scherzer will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Number 31, Max Scherzer. Miguel Sano will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away.
He's set. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Here now the 2-2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So they wind up with a couple of gift runs here on no hits as the runs were pretty much handed to them. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Red Sox lead it 9-6. to six. Robbie Ray gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Next up for the Red Sox, Austin Meadows. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Here comes the first pitch. Now some action in the Braves' bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Now, a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Yep, that ball went out. One out, nobody on. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw over to Gehrig, and that's out number two. Now at the plate, Matt Chapman. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Takes this the other way to right. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red Down piece back. of cheese First middle pitch. of the plate, and he didn't miss it. In now, Daniel Murphy. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hey. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. A runner on first with two away. Hey. 
yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They won't add to their 9-6 lead. Leading off the inning, Andrew McCutcheon, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So digging in now, Will Smith, already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Whoa, that's down. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Swing and a miss, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Looks like he's pitching pretty cautiously right here, but that happens when a guy's three for three on the day. Usually he's a guy you challenge a little bit more, but I guess he's earned some respect in this one. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Fernando Tatis Jr. will be next. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Murphy has it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So the lineup flips over and digging in Fernando Tatis Jr. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. Chapman brings it in. Throw to Murphy will take care of him and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They don't make any headway. Still down nine to six. Digging in to try it again. Omar Narvaez. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. delivery to him on the way and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat it's ball one with this one almost in the books the story was clearly the long ball what are your thoughts on this offense fellas well Matty V I don't know what your thoughts are D roll but boy when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches yeah just great approach no one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. Here comes the first pitch. Ty Cobb comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. One out, nobody on. Still no balls and two strikes. A 
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. So now to the plate, Jeff McNeil. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to Gehrig, takes care of him, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They won't add to their 9 6 lead. Taylor Rogers comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Taylor Rogers. All set to start the ninth in this one. Next will be the designated hitter, Freddie Freeman. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road trying to come back against a closer. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Now a curveball misses inside. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. This is to right field and deep off the bat of Freeman. Wow, that got up onto the roof deck. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman as this lead has been sliced down to two. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Yeah, Matty V. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down the pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Now the two one. Count is three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and one. Here it is. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning. So you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Now the Atlanta number four hitter, Juan Soto. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. 
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nobody out runner on first. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Meadows has it and there's one away. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, at the ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2 0 now. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair, 2 and 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. The 3-2 one more time. Hit hard down the line. One there. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting. But it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. The Bo Sox hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Mike Clevenger takes home the win. Brandon Woodruff was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ballgame.